today we're going to be doing a review on um, Velocitron Road Hauler. I found this guy at Ross. I went to Ross for Transformers. I don't care. It, I mean, I, I freaking found a Transformer that I have not seen in the wild. Like ever. Okay. So, uh, a little back, uh, a little backstory. Um, I found him at Ross, you know, because I asked my parents if we could go to Ross. And, well, I asked my mom if we could go to Ross. And, like, she had errands to run as well. She said, okay. I found him for, like, nine bucks. He's a Voyager. So for some reason, he's not standing straight. Okay. I found him for, like, he still hasn't standing straight. Okay, whatever. I found him for nine bucks. Then I found a uh, Night Prowler for nine bu uh, eight bucks. And then Sandstorm, I believe, for nine bucks. That's that's good, uh, but let's um let's start off with uh, accessories. Let's get the stuff off of him. Oh, hang on, I have no room. And I... Okay, got it off. Uh, so first off, it's uh this little like cannon. I don't know, uh like shot like little thing on Shockwave's arm. Essentially, I don't know what purpose is supposed to serve, but for some reason on the box, if you get the claw, you can place it on to it, which you really, you can't, you can't do that. So I don't know why it says that on the box. Actually, let me get the box so I can show you. Because for some weird reason, they did something where it'll show that I don't know why but yeah that's weird uh, so yeah uh, you got the claw as a well it's just a claw essentially you know uh, claw then we got a gun it's actually a pretty nice gun Again, uh, these were uh, uh, the claw and the gun were all molded in gray, like a like a like a dark darker gray uh, plastic. But uh, this piece was paint, uh, molded black but painted silver. So yeah. Uh, then we get to the figure. He's a brick, um, but in a good way. In a good way, he's. Uh, he does have some head articulation. Very limited. He can look. He can't look up or down that well. Also, I don't know why, but his face. It just. Well, I don't know why he's eternally screaming, but yeah. Uh, his head's very limited. Uh, he can look to the. To to left and right, like. Fair amount. Not gonna do it all the way because well he, it's. Oh, that's on the crane part. Which the crane can also, if he doesn't slide, can, is ratcheted. Also, if it feels like this guy's about to break, probably, because I don't know when, when, he, when was he made. Um, 2022. So he's been sitting on the shelves for like a whole year. So he feels like he's like also like his joints are a little stiff, which is completely fine. It's completely normal for joints to feel stiff. Um, his arms can go this far. He does have uh, his arms can go far out. His arms can go around all the way. He does. He has like a 90 degree bend. He also has a bicep rotation. Very cool one. He does not have wrist rotation because the arms flip in for the claw and the little uh that silver piece so yeah he does have waist rotation well a little bit limited unless you move the crane out of the way he also has a port so you can put it in standy um his legs can go kick out this far out this far back so yeah that's good um he's also very tall uh let me fix the thing with the tripod i guess you could call it because I don't want it to fall off. Okay. That's 
say that. Uh, he is lacing go this kick out. I guess this far. He does have like rotation. He has like a knee, a uh, 90 degree bend at the knee. Then he has ankle pivot. So yeah. I mean, his feet can go like far out like this because of transformation. So you can implement the transformation joint into it. If you want his foot to go back, but his foot cannot go forward any anyhow. But yeah, he's pretty cool. I like him a lot. It's a simple transformation too. But let's uh, get to like um, com comparisons. Uh, I'll start off with one that I saw that I found recently. It's a night prowler, I believe. It's a uh, usage of the Cheetor mold. But yeah, he's a deluxe. And besides, I think these both came out in Kingdom. I think these are both in the, the Wolf Cybertron uh, trilogy show. So, yeah. Oh, you have to crane all the way. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. I mean, he is deluxe, so he's gonna be smaller. Um, Voyager Blitzwing, uh, essentially just a Voyager. He isn't a leader. He technically is just a Voyager, not leader. But for Legacy, he's a leader. Um, yeah, same height because I mean they're both Voyagers, so yeah. So good. Also, I will not be transforming this one into. For the com for the transformation comparison, then we have a uh, siege uh, Optimus. We have siege Optimus. I mean, because I do again, I do believe they uh, he was in Earthrise slash Kingdom, and he was in practically the whole War of Cybertron trilogy. So I think they're both in War of Cybertron. Yeah, uh, pretty good, pretty good. Again, Voyager as well. So yeah. Um, but let's go on to the, uh, transformation. Uh, so, so, let's get on to it. So, for starters, what we're going to want to do is flip in the, the, the hands. I already flipped in one for the, what, the claw, I mean, the little silver piece, so yeah. Then what we're going to want to do is just do, uh, do that and then move the crane out of the way. Just for that. And then we're going to want to go to the feet. Uh, don't pivot the feet. Uh, bring them down like this. And then, what we're going to want to do is bring them forward. So they look like this. So, yeah. so they're practically even. Because that is where the back of the car, of the like, truck will go. So then we flip this. Wait, no. That's not a good deal. Yeah, that's the wrong piece. I am a sh dumb brain did we move the this whole section which is giving me uh flashbacks to a junk heap or junkyard uh they have it well like tall or uh, like a like a blitzwing okay I'll flip the truck part here as like as far as it will go and flip this down but then, we also got a poof going on. Actually, we can poof it. It's ever so slightly. But yeah. Uh, but we flip the head in. Like that. And then... Peg. Because these little things here are important to the feet. Okay. Then, move the crane like this. So it could extend out. Also, yes, there's a hollow gap here, but I don't really care. Um, then we grab the arms, do this, and that. So, yeah, and then we flip the arm to where the, the he uh, hexagon port is sticking out, and then this little tab here will go into this little thingy. Uh, like, just like that. Okay, now, for one of the arms, you gotta connect them. So yeah, uh, rotate it, kind of way, rotate it, and then tap that in, and then port, just if it'll tab in. Okay, boom. And then, yeah, it's, that's it. You got it. That's it. It looks pretty good. I like it. 
Again, he does look like a brick. But that's a good thing. He looks like a, a trash masher. But the, I mean, he, he's like a brick. But in a good way. He's still cool. Uh, the crane can extend out. And you can tab stuff into this whole port. It is compatible. So if you wanted to, you can add the, the, the hook onto it. I'm not gonna do that because it took me ages to get it off. But then I'm just realizing you can also add the gun to it. I mean, it's loose, but you can. You can do the, You can do something cool. You can do something pretty funny with it. <laughs> or you could just move this ever so slightly. Okay, no, you can't. I'm just being dumb. Uh, but yeah, that's a that's a, a road hauler. I keep forgetting his name. Also, yes, it is ratcheted. Good ratchets, I gotta say. Uh, the, these are pinned wheels, which is very good. Actually, uh, the, the front wheels are pinned. These are just pegged in. Yeah, so cool. I like it. Uh, the, the stuff can peg on to certain areas. So, like, peg the gun here or, like, the... the peg the gun on any of the ports, essentially. Peg the gun here. You can peg the gun here. You can peg it on the side. Like that. You do that. And then what we can do about the claw part port here and then grab the, the silver piece the shockwave thingy and then there's a little slot here where I'll, this the green thing will tab in too all right and boom long haul or long, road hauler god damn i always forget his name um yeah he's cool i like him he's he's a he's a cold brick Anyways, let's get on to the comparisons of the, the transformed people. Okay, here, okay. Uh, substituting, I will be substituting Blitzwing because he's, he's got like two different transformations. I don't want to do both. So substituting him will be another brick, Trash Master. So yeah. Um, about the same uh, length. About the same length, uh, so yeah. Uh, this one's bigger, like a brick. This one's definitely a brick, though. He's another brick, but it's alright. Uh, both good figures. Um, uh, here we have Nightcrawler. I mean, he's just a giant cheetah. Because he decides to make them huge. But yeah, I mean, really isn't anything special going on. And then here we have Optimus Prime. Same length, uh, same width, uh, width as well, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, they were in the same uh, generation line, so yeah. Still cool figures. Still cool figure. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's been the review on, um, Road Hauler. Uh, yeah. Yep, uh, it's such, such a good figure. But, uh, yeah, that's been the review on, uh, Road Hauler. Uh, see you next time. Goodbye.